What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? I just wrapped up another adventure at one of my favorite places on the planet, Drive Tanks. Can I touch it? You can touch everything. Oh. You've probably seen some of the stuff we've done there in the past, whether it was German machine guns of World War II or getting chased by Demolition Ranch and Kentucky Ballistics on a Sherman tank. But this time a new sponsor brought us out there to play with a few of the toys that Drive Tanks has in the roster, including the M9 Vietnam flamethrower. Press and hold there, slowly squeeze back here. Cool. Giggity. <laughs> yeah, thing's fun. This thing throws off some serious heat. It's not so bad in one stream, but if you just move it out, oh, the surface area of that increases significantly. Oh, that makes it unbearably hot. Holy <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have a sunburn right there at the glove line. Now, of course, that was a lot of fun, but there's one thing that I never got to do in all my time going to drive tanks. I, I never got to drive tanks, at least until this time. This baby right here is a German Leopard tank, and I'm gonna learn how to drive it. So this is your perspective. I only point this out because everybody while driving puts themselves in the middle of the road. It's what feels comfortable and right. The problem is you got about seven and a half feet to your left, so if you put yourself in the middle of the road, then you're hitting trees and stuff, which is okay, but you know, not ideal. Uh, use your barrel in front of you as your center point to the tank, okay. and then just constantly hug the right side of the road, otherwise you'll be hitting things with your left track. Gotcha, so drive like a European. Yeah, exactly. So well, it's uh, a European tank. Right, it is, yeah. Exactly. So uh, I'm gonna get in, fire it up, and then you'll hop into that hatch. I'll be attached right there with the harness, and then we're gonna go through the course, I have these headsets, me and you can just casually communicate. We'll go through the whole course and then end up back over here somewhere. Awesome. And just step on the seat and lower yourself in. Turn that, master power. Okay. Okay, leave that one turn and then come back one switch. Yep, and then twist that one. know what I was expecting but this thing was remarkably easy to drive. Once Spencer kind of walked me through the operation kind of at just the basics of how to operate it, the steering, uh, everything like that, it was just like driving a car. Automatic. There's none of that stuff that you see in movies where you know you're pulling levers and things like that. It's very much like it. It's German. It's a piece of German engineering. It's like driving a BMW. Uh, you definitely all right I'm not I'm not gonna lie you feel powerful but yeah 10 out of 10 would recommend real quick I did want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video acre gold acre gold is a gold subscription service that ensures that your portfolio is diversified into the real heavy metals like gold aside from what you've already invested in, copper, brass, lead. If you'd like to check them out, go ahead and click the link down in the description and in the pinned comment. Show them a little bit of love. Back to tanks. So one of the other things that we were doing here at Drive Tanks is we were filming some stuff for a sponsor of ours. Some of the stuff we had to film included me shooting the Sherman tank. 
which is really cool. I've never done it before. What was also pretty cool is before I got to do that, I got to spend a little bit of time with Glenn learning how to operate and fire the main gun. Now, of course, this one is, you know, out of commission, but the one in the Sherman, very much operable. You can say hot, up, whatever you want to say. Cool. Gun's hot. There you go. We did a thing. <laughs> <laughs> you loaded a tank. Kinda. So I've been here a few times now, but I'm finally now going to shoot a tank for the first time. So that's gonna be really cool. Seeing these things fire, usually I just, you know, let somebody else do it, you know, one of the other guys that we're here with, but now it's just me and I get to shoot a Sherman. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. That was actually less concussive right next to the tank than it was usually standing back behind it. I know it's my third time at drive tanks and I finally get to both drive and fire a tank. Worth the wait. They also just picked up a little bit of a new acquisition of theirs, a 1939 37mm Russian anti-aircraft machine gun. Thing is ridiculous and ridiculously fun to swivel around. We'd love to come back out here and play around with that, but in order for us to do that, they have to see that we're getting you guys involved and going to go check out Drive Tanks. Be sure to go check out Drive Tanks on Instagram. That is the main way that they check their conversion. So if you guys go there, flood there, check them out, make sure to follow them. We're trying to get them over that 100K mark. As soon as they see conversion like that, they know it's probably a good idea to have us back out again. We may actually be going back as early as January to the Gundys. The Gundys, if you don't know, are an award ceremony for the gun industry and content creators within it that you guys actually get to control. You can vote every day for your favorite content creators. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description and in the pinned comment. And you can vote for whoever you think uh, deserves to win stuff. <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate your support. And uh, yeah, again, please go show Drive Tank some love. We love the guys down there. And as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his eyes to the top. But the killer should get slow, get slow, get slow, get slow, get slow, get slow. When I say I'm going backpacking and you say we're, you're going backpacking, we're not talking about the same things.